But we can continue. We can continue. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too. Didn't you, boy? <coughs> well, that's how we were supposed to get up here. Sounds like the chainsaw. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. I'll uh give it a minute or two before I open back my windows back. Sometimes they do the <clears throat> the bait and switch. They're like, we're done. The chains. Oh, no, we're not. All right. Get him. Lessons from the countless times that chainsaws have graced my so presence. What do you think that we'd be like? Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead, and too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, well, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are, they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. I feel like these guys are the bandits. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. 
Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Kit cart. <laughs> Traitor is paying sure trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. Good job, Clive. You don't trust them. We're on the right wavelength here. Traders pay paying mercenaries, paying mercenaries, paying mercenaries. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. Well, well. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. Oh, yeah. You'll pay the toll. <laughs> 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 Some new enemies showed up, and, uh, well, I have no idea what happened to that. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Get cart. Steal from thieves. It's, uh... I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Oh, I didn't investigate the cart. that I did not even see because it was over here. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? I was really hoping for the the option to to kill them. I would have killed them. Good luck at Cabbage Corp, gentlemen. Don't hear any chainsawing. Means. Chainsawing could be done. Don't get 
around it. Maybe I should have talked to those mercenaries again. Might have gotten some dialogue of like, you know what, maybe I will kill these fuckers. The final sin. So this is a Mechas. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <sighs> Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. That definitely does look cool. This place looks cool too. The seat of the Imperial Court. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. 
and I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieker made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Anchor! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Bell be platin. He be platin. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. One of them is possessed, maybe two, because this is insane. I'm starting to think that there's only. There, all right, so let, let's let's think about this uh, from a a uh, like a factual observation basis. Okay, 
Uh, Emperor. Emperor's done some new things since Annabelle stepped into the picture. Annabelle somehow has a child. We still don't technically know who the father is, I don't think. Which is a little suspicious. Um, and it seems like every major thing that happens that affects like the outside world is coming from Annabelle. So I think all lines point to Annabelle being the person who's doing, you know, all the horrible things. But I don't, I, it, it just it doesn't feel like it's as simple as that. Um, and I, I do want to believe that Ultima is involved somehow. I just don't see how it's relevant yet. Because of what we've seen from Ultima, all he wants is to, I guess, possess Mythos. You know, take over his body or something like that. And uh, I don't... There's like... There's no... There's no plausible reason yet for Ultima to go on this grand campaign of taking over the rulers of other nations and starting wars and things like that when all he wants to do is take over Mythos. Now, you could go down the line of thinking of, well, it seems like Ultima shows up every time we're at a crystal and the best way to motivate Clive is to motivate the outer machinations of the world. Uh, but I feel like that's, that's a, uh, it, it's, it's one of those plans where it's like, I want to grow an apple tree. So instead of buying some apple seeds from the vendor next to me, I'm going to uh, hire an adventurer to go across the world and search for the greatest apple tree of all time and then pluck the seeds and hope they don't die along the way. It just, uh, it, it seems very convoluted, I guess. Um, Ultima doesn't have to, at least so far as of right now, Ultima doesn't have to do any of those things to motivate uh, Clive. Clive. Clive has shown that he has been motivated by revenge against Hugo, which we have not... I mean, I guess we have seen some... some uh, meddling from Annabelle on that front, but I... It... it It feels so... So... Like, minor, I guess? I don't know. It, it's just one of those things where... The, the pieces... fit a little too well. And then they also don't really fit all too well. And so it, it just feels like it doesn't make any sense for a villain to put in so much effort into a quest like this. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Ugh! <laughs> 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 
too slow. Garuda! Yeah. 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 Uh, you think each crystal holds a piece of Ultima, but nothing beyond that. Uh, that, that could be a... A, uh... That could be something. I guess for me, it just... It, it feels a little weird. Because... If if An like Annabelle was putting these these plots into motion before Ultima was released, you know, well before Ultima was released, so we would have to imply that Ultima was was involved before Ultima's time. Which we definitely don't have any information about. And I, I know on top of that, Ultima is like quote unquote sealed. And we don't even know what that means. But how is Ultima... Like, we also don't really technically have any evidence that Ultima can... Can, uh, take over people and whatnot. And so, it it's just kind of difficult to... To look... At Ultima, and, uh, and say that this is all an Ultima machination. This one. Oh, oh, that was cool. That was very cool. I didn't realize I could do that.
Who's hiding in here? We always see Art linking to Ultima. Is that Ultima though? I I I I remember the art. I I don't think it looks like Ultima to me. I don't know what it looks like, but I don't think it looks like Ultima. At least the Ultima that we have seen. Maybe once all the crystals are 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 broken, then you know we get to see Ultima's true form. Like something integral is missing. How did Sid know of Ultima? And why did Joshua know about him also? You assumed it was, but you might be right. I I've also <laughs> wondered uh, how these people know about Ultima. It, it seems like um, uh, it seems like um, Dion knows about Ultima as well. So now I'm beginning to think. Maybe all of the dominance somehow know about Ultima. And because Clive is, you know, uh, a weird dominant, he never really got to learn that information because nobody knew that he was dominant. Uh, um, uh, Back in, uh, back at the beginning, or well, maybe not the beginning, but back earlier, it was mentioned that the Phoenix Dominant needed to go through the ruins to, to learn something, you know, to survive or whatever, get the blessing. And uh, Joshua was supposed to be the one to, to go do that. I don't I don't know if he ever actually went to go do that. But uh more refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Uh perhaps. Perhaps other dominants undertake a similar thing, you know, maybe not. But, you know, maybe they they do something along those lines where they they have it's to over. awaken their dominant powers or what have you. You assume Joshua told Dion, eh, you know, it's, it's possible. I I did forget that they uh, they had a conversation recently. I don't know. What, one thing that that we can 110% say is that there is certainly more to the story uh, than than what we're being led to to believe. And like you mentioned, something integral is is missing. Uh, there's uh, I feel like we have a couple of corners of the puzzle and like we're slowly building our way to the center but there's also like these little spots where we just haven't haven't filled in yet very interesting though The only reason you're thinking possession was due to Hugo Kupka. Hugo was clearly out of his mind in front of the crystal. Uh, when he saw the uh, the vision of Benedicta. Maybe. There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. I. The crystalline Dominion is our only chance. I know. I, but the checkpoint. I still feel like. Annabelle's the likely target here for like the catalyst to everything. But the only way that works 
If, if, if Annabelle's connected to Ultima in some way, the only way that works is if Ultima is able to affect the world. Um, this is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Ultima has to affect the world before being unsealed. And I guess we just need to stumble across the answer of, you know, like, maybe not what is Ultima, that, but then? what is Ultima's purpose? No traders pass. No passage. Because if if we assume that the hooded man, man. is Ultima, which Bloody is uh, a likely thing to assume, the rest of us. then the hooded man showed up to Clive uh, when he was still a young lad. You know, Joshua's shield and all that. is Joshua and, Joshua and Clive reuniting. Part of the problem lies whether uh, lies in whether Ultima is an icon or not, first and foremost. Maybe he isn't because maybe Typhon was his icon. Yeah, these are they're great theories that feel like it's going to take a while for us to get answers to. I hear the brothers it found makes matters it. worse as well because. I believe it. I believe it. All right. What's that? The third this month. Ah, a soldier like yourself could do with hearing this. If ever you see a couple of brothers up in Leighton's cleft, you just pass them right on by. And why is that? Because they're duplicitous bastards who make. Cat throats and foot pads look like upstanding citizens by comparison. What they do is befriend a passing merchant, someone new to the area, and steer them straight into the arms of bandits. The merchant dead and his murderers busy bickering over the poor bastard's wares, the brothers set to sweet talking some other unsuspecting fool, a warrior. Now, the brave soul charges into the foot pads den thinking he's doing the realm a favor. And when he's done, the brothers sweep in and loot the bandits and dead merchant both. Yeah, there's a lazy sort of cunning to it, I suppose. You'd think they'd run out of bandits eventually. So close to Bokland? Not bloody likely. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, if you run into them, you steer clear. Or better yet, give them a damn good hiding. <sighs> I only wish I had. Thanks for the warning. Hmm. Hmm. Can I do something about it, though? I need a teleport thingy. Uh, Ultima being an icon is something that I had not considered but is an interesting thing to think about. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. Look at me, zero potions. You've a discerning eye, a fine choice. I guess I have enough money, I might as well buy elixirs. Many thanks. All right, I wanna see I could, uh, meet those bandits again. <laughs> oh, 
all this Ultima talk. It's uh, got the gears turning. But uh, like I said, I feel like we're not going to get any answers to Ultima for a long time. It's such a tragedy. they haul away that many cabbages. I call shenanigans. Alright, we'll definitely meet them again. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears, beets and beans. Good choice. Maybe they'll want to steal your priceless chocobo. <laughs> Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, uh. How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a formal line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. You just stuck your arm inside the dog. I don't recommend that. Let us through! Remember when half the people come looking for treasure chests? Go and bother someone else, will you? I've got my trader's pass and I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. If I stay here much longer, I'll end You should yeah, come yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah. Go to complain to somebody else. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Here you at, Goots. There you are. Did you hear about the Empire's Black Shields? Apparently, they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. <laughs> what a waste! I oh, ain't got no drink in those cups. Oh, good. There you are. Uh, Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a bairn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? I, I know where! I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. 
I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. How is he this pathetic? Goot? Come on. Anybody would have gotten pocketed, picketed Out of my sight, by a little thugafoo. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El! He's my mate! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Ben? We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. To the map. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back? And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Oh, we ain't Is sitting. there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But... But well, the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive.
Oh, another patch for the our The proprietor jacket. of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Um, going back to the Ultima thing, I uh, just remembered that I had a theory that Clive is Ultima, um, which is slightly different than, you know, Ultima wanting to take control of Clive. Uh, Ultima first appeared when Clive was, um about to transform into Ifrit. And ever since then, you know, all the Ultima stuff started unraveling. So perhaps, Patriots perhaps that will be a factor as well. Jug of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the Juicy trick. Pears. Pears. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and we collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of... Unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Uh, you thought that as well? You know, it reminded you of Dune a little. Breeding to create Clive, fake religion, and history. Go as to shepherd society. That's a very interesting theory as well. Uh... Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. There's no way you're gonna believe this kid.
Jug of snake spit for the road? Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Come on, come all! Is there a spice? Oh, I haven't seen Dune. Peaches and pears. I've, I've been meaning to watch Let the me more, most recent Punchy. Dune movie, but I've also heard that uh, it's, the best service it's coming out with a part two, and so maybe I'll just wait until the part two she comes must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. All right, let's save and mark. Before we bust up this sucker fool.